I would like to welcome you all in the lecture series of Python programming. In the last session, we have discussed about Boolean operators and the comparison operators. In this session, we are going to talk about mixing of Boolean and comparison operators, uh, which is suitable for like uh, large complex uh, like uh, decision making statements. Moving on to the discussion, first of all, we will discuss why uh, mixing of Boolean and comparison operators are needed. The first point is mixing Boolean and comparison operators in programming allows uh, it is used to create complex conditional expression. For example, uh, we can make it like a come by or negate conditions uh, be required like uh, comparison statements. And uh, we can like uh, have a suitable decision making statement by using Boolean expression. Suppose if you want to like, uh, if you want to have like a complex conditional expression, complex decision making situation, we can use both um, the comparison operators and the Boolean operators. This is one example as you can observe. Like uh, here you can see like uh, x greater than pi, y less than pi. In between we are using AND operators. So AND operators belong to Boolean operator where greater than and less than that is belong to comparison operator. In this context, we can say that the particular statement is belong to the combination of Boolean and comparison operators. Also, uh, this is suitable for like a complex conditional statement. So I hope why uh, you understood why um, the mixing of Boolean and comparison operators are necessary. So we'll have some discussion, for example, uh, this is one example for less than five and five less than six. Now we'll verify using any one of the interpreter. Let's open Jupyter notebook. Now let's type both comparison operator and a Boolean operators. So first I'll be typing like for less than six. It is, you know, it's one of the uh, uh, like a comparison operators. Now we are using a boolean operator and is a boolean operator okay five less than seven okay so here you can see what i'm going to uh, select that is comparison operator now i'm going to select and that is called a boolean operators now let's see the result let's go for run yes of course the statement is right so this is one of the typical example, how to use the comparison operator and the Boolean operator at a time. In this fashion, you can uh, perform like OR operation, a NOT operation you can perform. Okay, so kindly practice it once. So the process will be in this fashion. First of all, uh, you can see four less than five that will be executed. Another one is five less than six that will be executed. For four less than five means what? Four less than five. Is it correct or not? Of course, we can write it is true. It is absolutely true. Now tell me, phi less than 6. Phi less than 6 will be absolutely true. So true and true. What is the result? Result will be true only. This is the way how now the simple statement is going to execute. How the combination of Boolean and comparison operator works. Okay, I hope you got the idea how the process will be taken place. For your better understanding, uh, as you can observe, there is one program. So here I have called some variables x, y, a, b. So in the first example, uh, we are using and and operators with the comparison operator. You will be getting the result and the result will be printed. So similarly, in the second example, uh, we are uh, checking the not operator with the comparison operator. Uh, the corresponding result will be printed. Okay. And uh, also we are using like if condition. Okay. Simple if condition we are using. Okay, uh, so uh, as we can observe for the complex decision making, the combination of Boolean and comparison operator will be really helpful. Now we'll verify the program by using Jupyter Notebook. You can use any other interpreter. Now let me type the program. Yes, I have called the variable. First we are going to check AND and OR, or operator with the comparison operator. Say so the second example is using NOT operator with the comparison operator. So kindly go through the program. Uh, let's run the program. Yes, of course. So we'll be getting the result like this. X is greater than 5 and 5 is less than 10. A is equal to 0 or B is equal to 10. Uh, X is not equal to 5. Y is greater than 10. You can verify this is the simple output. So kindly go through that how the program is going to be executed and how the comparison 
as well as boolean operator works at a time it is mainly suitable for the complex uh, programming so uh, in this session we discussed about how to operate comparison uh, and the boolean operator together in a complex decision statements let me know if you have any questions kindly put up in the comment box i'm happy to answer that thank you for watching this video happy learning